Before we start this video, we want to put a little disclaimer that we are not scholars, guys. Neither me nor my husband, neither of us are scholars. So we're not here to give you guys fatwa. We're not going to tell you if something is haram or halal for you to do. And we're just sharing with you what we follow. So let's talk about chess. <laughs> okay, I have a history with chess. I used to play that game all the time when I was little. I used to play it obsessively. So in my university years, you can imagine when I first found out that chess was impermissible, I was like, yeah, no. That's not possible. I just played as a game. It can't be permissible. It's just innocent. It's not taking me away from anything. It's not making me think a certain way. It's not doing anything to me. So why is it impermissible, right? That's what I asked. And I was like so shocked and I didn't want to give it up. And I had all these things that I was saying to the people that were telling me it's impermissible. All the things that I saw in your comment section was basically me in that time when I found out chess was impermissible. And I understand where you guys are coming from when you say no way chess is like impermissible. It's just a game. You know, it does. It's not gambling. We don't really do it for money. I get it. I've been there, guys. But honestly, there's just a lot of evidence against chess and there's just too many reasons for it. So some of the reasons being it can lead us to gambling. I know you guys won't use it for that, but it can lead us to that. There are little statues in it. Um, it also makes you want to beat your opponent. You're literally trying to like strategize to beat your opponent the whole time. And it was used to like plan for warfare in the past. Okay, now on to this guy. How did yes. you react when you found out that chess was not permissible? I had a pretty defensive reaction like a lot of you guys. So when we, we posted that TikTok, a lot of you guys got very defensive. We were like, no, these people are extremists. You guys, what are you talking about? I get that. I was saying the same things to her because I'm like, stop making up rules. This is not true. However, after I started searching it up and hearing more about things like, for example, how people in the past have used it for warfare, how they use it to strategize for bad things like that. And the fact that, for example, on the chessboard, you have these little statue like pieces, which in, in Islam, we don't keep statues in our home. And even if it's a big statue or a little one, you can still think of those little pieces as statues. After learning about that and the other reasons Mubina mentioned, I started to realize that hmm, maybe it is haram. Because I know people were mentioning how, oh, but my, my children use play chess. It's good for strategy. It's good to develop the brain and things like that. But at, if it has any risk of potentially leading us to strategize in a way that could harm someone, like if you think of the game of chess, you're literally trying to kill your opponent using different strategies. So why couldn't that be applied in a real life scenario, right? It could potentially be dangerous. I know obviously most of us aren't going to think that way, but if there is any risk of us harming someone and strategizing and developing our minds like that, it's not a good thing. Suffice to say, we follow the opinion that chess is impermissible and so we don't play it anymore. And this is something that we follow. You guys don't have to do it just because we do it. Do your own research. Talk to a scholar if you need to. 